Nothing and no one has free will in your reality. Everything is just the story you tell it. Everything and everyone in your life is just the story you tell it. Let's say that you manifested someone to be your girlfriend. You manifested Leah to be your girlfriend. You have this thought, right? This is your desire. Leah is your girlfriend. And then let's say you get a thought that Leah is not your girlfriend. You may feel like because of this thought that Leah has free will and she has a choice and she can't be your girlfriend even though you want it. But just like this thought, this thought was also created in your head. And whatever you choose to persist in all starts from your head. Whatever you choose to persist in is what manifests. So no one has free will because everyone and everything in your life is just the story you tell it. So you can feel like, oh my gosh, a doubt is coming up. What if it doesn't happen? You are the one. Do you realize you're the one that created that thought? And if you choose to persist in it, then they won't show up the way you want them to. But at no point during that, they had free will. Because if they had free will, you would go, oh my gosh, what if they don't show up the way that I want them to? And then they do the opposite of that and show up the way you want them to. That's not how that works, right? You go, oh my gosh, what if they don't show up the way I want them to? And then you persist in that and you keep saying that's true over and over and over again. And then they don't show up the way that you want them to. You didn't want that, but you persisted in it and dominant thoughts manifest. So they didn't have free will. It's your choice to choose what is true and what is not. It's your choice to, to choose what is, what is true and what is false. But realize both of these thoughts, this thought that you want, what you want, the desire, and this doubt are both created in your head. The, the doubt is not stronger and no one has free will. It's just that you don't like this outcome that Leah is not your girlfriend. So if you don't like the outcome and you know that all you have to do is to think as if, why is this even going to, I'm going to make a video about doubts, by the way, and why you don't really need to give a fuck about them and why they don't matter. But if you don't want it, this is the only thing you should be focusing on. This is why I'm saying tunnel vision on your desires because you're, Quite frankly, a lot of you guys are not realizing your doubts have nothing to do with you because they're the opposite of you. They're literally the opposite of what you want. Why are you focused on the opposite of what you want? You should be focused on what you want because you know that a doubt cannot manifest unless if you persist in it. No one has free will. Nothing has free will. The money cannot come unless if you decide that the money is not coming by persisting in the money is not coming. The, the money not showing up in your account is not because the money said, oh, actually, I don't want to show up in your bank account today. So I'm not going to do that. It was not because the universe was like, OK, you know what? The money is not going to show up in your account today. No, <laughs> the fuck? There's nothing outside of you. There's nothing above you. You are the operant power. No one has free will. The reason why the money is or is not showing up in your account, or let's say for now, is not showing up in your account is because you chose that as fact and you're persisting in it. Nothing has free will. No one has free will. So Leah is your girlfriend. Leah is not your girlfriend. Oh my gosh, what if what if Leah's not my girlfriend? The only way that Leah not being your girlfriend will happen is not because she has free will. The only way that money will not show up in your life unless if you work super hard for it is not because money has free will. The only way you will fail that test is not because the test has free will. It's because if you persist in it, then it will happen. Just like how if you persist in what you want, it will happen. No one and nothing has free will. Every single thing in your life 
It's your life. It is your life because when I say you're the director, you're you're the the script writer, you're literally writing this is how money shows up for me. This is how love acts in my life. This is how Josh acts in my life. This is my um relationship to success. This is my self-concept. This is the, every single person in your life, every single thing in your life, you are telling a story. And that story is created in your head. And you're either choosing a favorable story to you or an unfavorable story to you. And the only way the unfavorable will manifest is not because the unfavorable has free will. They're both thoughts. The difference is you want this thought to manifest and this is favorable to you and you like it and you don't want this thought to manifest and this is unfavorable to you and you don't like it. The only reason how and why this will manifest is if you persist in it. If you are constantly saying, if you are constantly writing in the script that this is your story. The Russo brothers directed so many Marvel movies, right? Let's say sebastian stan came on set and the russo brothers gave him the script this is how we want bucky barnes to act and sebastian stan hears action and reads nothing off that motherfucking script and goes off the top of the dome cut sebastian what the fuck was that You don't have free will. Sebastian Stan was paid to read the lines and act how the Russo brothers wanted him to act. And guess what? If he does not act that way, he is fired and they will go replace him with someone who will read the lines on the script. That's it. They can only show up how you decide them to. And if Sebastian hears action and starts acting off the top of the dome and the Russo brothers decide to keep that in, that's because that is a version of Bucky Barnes that Sebastian is portraying in a way that the Russos like. Still no free will. Because the Russo brothers are like, yes. What did Valentina say? Well, she said, this doesn't go well with my fantasy, but I like the edited version. This goes well with my fantasy. This is like, this is how I want Bucky to act. So this will stay in the film. They don't have free will. Kim Velez put it in such a good way. And I'll try and say this almost the exact way she said it, but your reality is in your head. No one has free will, like I'm saying. Your reality is in your head. No one has free will because you at all times are um, determining, deciding how someone is going to act. It's either they're going to act in a favorable way or they're going to act in an unfavorable way. But both path A and path B were both created, projected in your head. And you choose what path to go down. Fucking Dora the Explorer, trying to get to the motherfucking banana tree. You want to go through this nice, um, beautiful, carved out path with the sidewalk? Or do you want to go through this dark and scary fucking forest? You choose. You choose. You decide. Shout out, Sebastian Stan. 